Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ray here, back for another Transformers Transformation Review thingy. Excuse me, I'm channeling the ghost of Terry Thomas. No, anyway, so, for the longest time, I've wanted to do this little thrust. Armada thrust, you know, I've wanted to do this little thrust. It's like, let's do the time warp again. No, not quite that. And, um, I don't know why, well, maybe I do know why. Maybe I just think that Armada Deluxes are not worthy, but, but, in light of recent Transformers lines, I'm talking movie line, um, they have so much to offer. This is what you've got to consider about the Unicron Trilogy line. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Can I just say, first of all, the uh, movie line is looking pretty good. It's not looking, as, we're not talking generations or universe, but it's looking pretty tidy. It's sorting itself out. Praise the Flying Spaghetti Monster. The movie's looking to be great. The movie's going to be great. It's not art, but, I mean, it's a Michael Bay movie. It's an actioner. It's going to be a really good actioner. Don't expect art. Do not go in there thinking Shen Andalusian or something like that. Not even nearly. Praise the good Lord. Flying Spaghetti Monsters once again, of course. But, um, I'm out of thrust. Because this is what you, you, you have to consider this. All you people who don't con uh, con connect, all you people who don't collect the Unicron Trilogy line, you've got to consider this. In the past 10 years, best plastic, best Hulk and robot, in the good old fashion G1, I'm going to turn into a robot kind of sense. If you know what that means, good. If not, I can't really explain it any more than that. And um, gimmicks, great. Really, the best marriage of bot, alt, plastic, and gimmicks ever. And to me, that's a new thing. But I, that's what's important to me in Transformers. We're talking bot, alt, oh, another one to add. Bot, alt, gimmicks, plastic, transformation. Yay. I've just discovered that that's what I want from a transforming robot. I want a good bot. I want a good alt, I want a good transformation, I want good plastic, and I got want good gimmicks. Armada offers that for me, as well as Energon and Cybertron. Absolutely yes, absolutely yes. So, with that in mind, I can now justify transforming thrust, Armada thrust. A little bit of BG, a little bit of BG, not enough to do you any harm. Let's have a little look, tiny little thing. I'm not going to give you the BG to this guy at all. Actually, I'm just going to say he's Armada Tactician. He says, I, I fight, I prevail, I conquer. You may remember him from watching Armada. I'm sure not many of you got through Armada because it's a pile of horseshit. It really is. It's actually, actually oddly physically painful to watch. It really is. Extremely tidy. Extremely, extremely tidy. Um, this will be a quick one tonight. Oh, look at that. Just noticing some really nice detail. So he's some kind of jet, isn't he? Do you know what? Tidy jet. There's stuff going on there, which is obviously going to be robot, but tidy freaking jet. And a little bit of asymmetrical stuff. Look at this. Look at this stuff going on here. Decepticon colors, he's got this kind of slightly distressed feel about him. Look back at these rear thrusters. Distressed, good plastic. I'm holding a very nice piece of plastic in my hands. I'm holding a very nice piece of molded original plastic with very good paint apps, with as much paint apps as I would expect from a transforming, transforming robot. Transforming, transforming robot, what the hell is that? What's this? This is thrust. Because from that line, um, of course, we had a Starscream, a Skywarp, and a Thundercracker. And thrust was a completely new mode. Absolutely completely new mode. And he featured really strongly. He was like, from what I remember, from what I can remember of the awful plotline, he was like the go-to guy for espionage. He was... I think he was sideways as go-to guy, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. 
but nice looking bot and he's got a minicon here which you don't even know there's little inferno you're wondering where little inferno is there he is what is that it's a armored missile carrier it's absolutely tiny let's transform him i don't want this to be too long you kind of loosen him first of all just take these things oh, it's going to become legs obviously in a good old fashioned way Interesting thing about his legs, they've got missiles attached to them, but you know what, that's fine. He's got nice gimmicks and all kinds of other funky things. These are going to become his arms. He has very interesting arms. Some of the most interesting arms I've ever seen of a bot ever. Thank you very much. Uh, like I say, you know, I'm, I'm just going to look up his BG and tell you a little bit more about him, but it doesn't really matter because if you don't have this guy, then you really have got to get him after tonight. Uh, because I remember when I got him, this is the Japanese version. Oh, I don't even know his guy, that guy's name. Shit. Mm, he's probably called Panty Liner or something like that. Let's just stick with that. <laughs> Look at his arms. His arms are so funky. Um, his arms, I want to kind of call them crap because that's almost it. Do these even turn? No, they don't even turn. Bless him and his bad transformation politics. That's all I can say. Where does this go? Yes, he's got this thing which hangs between his legs, rather like it looks like he's got a real se severe hernia or something like that, but that's just the way it is. Sometimes that's the way it is with bots, you know. Look at his face. Where is he? There he is. You can give him the money shot at the very end. His arms are absolutely horrendous because he's just got his thrusters, his arms. And he's got this kind of odd... This, his cockpit ends up at the back. And you can't do anything about it. I'm just going to check. That's the way it is. Yeah, yeah. You just can't do anything about it at all. But not to worry, I tell you, because you can take this shit out. Do these come out? Um, they don't come out, but surely they must go somewhere. Ah, no, these are obviously for when he's in his jet mode. What kind of jet? I don't know. It's probably some kind of odd Cybertronian jet. But these are the little push missiles, which I like. I don't like the ones where you, you, you hit the little um, catch and it fires. I don't care for them because they will fire at every opportunity. Now, this is his gimmick. This is so cool. First of all, have a little look at this guy. This is Little Inferno. He's a little armoured missile carrier. He transforms into a little mini con robot thingy, which is cool. But also, this shit comes off. Where does it go? Do you know what? I'm not 100% sure. No, it goes to the side of his hand here. Excuse me, like that. So, because his hand actually, obviously, won't hold anything, because it's just some kind of odd turbine thruster thing so it attaches to the outside in the old-fashioned way and you know it happens so many times with uh generation one and quite often in the armada trilogy as well but look at this for a little gimmick look at his little face his little cool little face odd little fucker isn't he nice like that what i like about this guy is so many things i'm not even sure what it is but this gimmick is so freaking weird. So you attach, you can see when you attach him here, then you activate him by pulling down. And what happens when you pull down? So you attach the little um, inferno there. You pull the little guy down, and his wings will spin like some very odd. <laughs> it it doesn't actually work so well, and I defy you to get it so that he's in a really good. So that he's in a sexy position where you can get this this odd thing to deploy. It doesn't really work. You've got to compromise his position so that he looks a little bit shitty. Just to do that. It doesn't work as a gimmick. It spins. But why should it spin? Why would it spin? It looks a little odd. You can't get him in any kind of position. Any action pose that's going to make him look any way sexy at all. You just can't. But, hmm, flawed, wonderful. This guy is a really nice minicon. Oh, sorry, the, the missile's just deployed there. Really nice minicon. There's so much of him. He's, 
he's kind of too big. He's kind of too big for thrust, really. But it doesn't really matter because when he's in his um whatever kind of um, plane, whatever kind of jet mode he is, it it attaches really well, so you wouldn't even know that he's part of him. And nice Decepticon symbols here. The reason I uh, allude to these is because this is when plastic was really good plastic. I have to say, there's lots about this guy that's really questionable, but there were lots about the Unicron Trilogy line that were questionable anyway. But if you don't have them, I'm going to recommend them because, and again, again, the reason for these new set of vids is not only because I'm back, kind of Gary Barlow back, but because I want to show you things that I have either haven't shown you before or have just kind of missed for some reason. This guy is one of them. I've wanted to do him for four years. He's an absolute oddball, really freaky, entirely successful in both modes. Um, apart from the fact that his hands are really horrendous because they just don't go anywhere. This little thing likes to pop off. This is what houses his minicon in his uh, bot mode. It's fine because, you know, it can be any old thing at all. Um, the, the bot doesn't suffer from it coming off or doesn't actually, it's not improved for being there, but it doesn't matter. Thrust, look at his face. Odd. He's got this little chick cone head, which, um, which I really like because we don't get the cone heads in Armada. They're just missing. So that's as close as we get. He's got this odd gimmick, which is, so underwhelming and unremarkable, it doesn't actually serve any purpose because you've got to compromise the position of your robot in order to in order to make this gimmick work. It's silly but wonderful at the same time. But the plastic is good. The gimmicks are great. There's a lot of playability. Good transformation. Good bot. Good alt. That's what I want from a transformer. And hey, you'll pay maximum ten quid for it. Hmm, maybe more so these days. Anyway, kind regards. Thrust, Minicon, Inferno, Ray, same